to give me the coffee. Maybe. We're at 6 a.m. We're in Dallas. We only got a couple hours sleep and then we have to be in another plane in 30 minutes. It's gonna be rough. Get to Puerto Rico and we have no idea what we're getting ourselves into but it seems like San Juan is okay there's power there's no shortage of people that don't have power at home in wherever place they live uh, but we shall see we shall see as we go <laughs> along into the island okay. That man. Hey, Who is that guy? I watch your YouTube channel. <laughs> How you doing, sir? People are been calling me. I said I had no idea where they are. So. You might have to jump these fans, Javier. Um, I'll see you tomorrow, please. <laughs> I'll see you. Hey, hey. nice meeting you. Yes. How are you guys doing? Good. And she has to go to Santo Domingo, then go to Florida. Oh. The last time she was here. Oh wow. Oh, yeah. this is nice. They're gonna do a go out, eat some Puerto Rican food. Yeah. Which is gonna hurt you really bad. This type of food is called malanga. I have never seen it in my life, but it tastes really good. And this is something I have tried before, arroz con gandules, but I've never liked it before until tonight. For some reason, it's really good. Fancy. Muchas gracias, eh? Yes. Homemade food in mm -hmm. Puerto Rico. Okay. The next morning, Javier took us to see San Juan. Puerto Rico is a beautiful island despite all the recent devastation. The reason for our visit is not to be tourists. If for some reason you're not familiar with what I'm doing here in Puerto Rico, let me tell you. You see, everyone knows that two months ago Puerto Rico was hit by devastating storms. Racing to but by now, this new cycle has moved on to more important things. They call her Pocahontas. So by now, most people think that things here in Puerto Rico are back to normal. And they are for some people. But according to the website status.pr, only 65% of the power is being generated and that is being delivered to big cities with lots of industry. Shopping malls, warehouses, factories, that sort of stuff. Which means that the 35% that remains to be generated is largely for people's homes in rural areas of the island. Rough estimates say that up to 1 million people are still without power. But the truth is that no one really knows. 
So I thought that since I have this particular skill to repurpose old lithium batteries into DIY power walls, I could help. I started by making a video showing people how to make their own emergency solar generators using parts from Amazon and surplus GPS lithium batteries. But that project was a bit hard for the average person to complete. So I tried a simpler, more affordable version. But the problem with that one is the high cost of shipping it and the near impossible to meet regulations to ship lithium batteries. So my third attempt was to ask you guys for help. Just at the end of the video, not a very hard sell, but about 50 of you donated somewhere around $3,500. And that money I used to buy all the necessary materials on Amazon on Black Friday. The trick here was to use Javier's address in Puerto Rico as my shipping address and let my Amazon Prime pay for the shipping. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm not breaking any rules as I am here in Puerto Rico to accept all those shipments. The only thing that I could not buy and ship this way was the lithium batteries. But Tom Ammerman has been super generous and has shipped a lot of batteries for us to start making emergency solar generators. Not everything is going smoothly as six pallets with about 160 solar panels are stuck somewhere in Florida when they should be here for us to use. Another company donated 50 USB power packs but they ended up in California. So there are challenges but together we will make this happen. So what's the plan? First a Q&A. Lots of people here in Puerto Rico are resourceful and just need the information, so we will get together and show them. Gente de Puerto Rico, si quieren aprender a hacer un generador solar emergente, acompáñenos el sábado en esta dirección y les vamos a enseñar cómo se hacen, dónde se compran las partes. Nos vemos mañana. You guys ready? Let's do this. Press record. Yeah, we need to start recording before, you know, before I'm being sexy, you know, talking to you guys to send something over, we need to hit record. Yeah, it helps. Yeah, it helps. <laughs> yeah. So, people watch you? Well, they watch whenever I, whenever I remember to record. The only thing is that when people start watching, they're going to say, hmm, he edits that part. <laughs> so that's about a second right there. Right? Okay. This is uh, the other power plant right here. That's the other power That's on one port. That's how we get one of the ports. The basic thing that comes in. That is not flown over air or airplane. These are the northern ports. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Our, our batteries are going to come in there. Yeah. And our solar panels are going to come in there. Yeah. And then you can just put them to them all or try that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Take it to the warehouse next to the airport. Take it to my house, which is right now. Wow, okay. So that's our plan. Yeah. 